In this video, we'll look at how to determine the missing coefficients of a polynomial. The polynomial given is f at x equals ax cubed minus x squared plus bx minus 24. And we're told that two of the factors are x minus 2 and x plus 4. So if we know a factor is x minus 2, that means we know it's 0 is 2. And we can use factor theorem or remainder theorem to sub it in. You'll see why in a moment. Let's sub in that 0. f at 2 corresponds to that factor 0. And you get a times 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus b times 2 minus 24. And the beauty of factor theorem or remainder theorem tells us that since we subbed in a 0 of this corresponding factor, we know that when you sub in this 0, you get a y value of 0. And so now we can simplify our equation. We get a times 8 minus 4 plus 2b minus 24. And let's simplify that a bit. 0 equals 8a. And I'm going, to com I'm going to move this 2b over, so plus 2b. And then I'll combine these like terms of minus 4 and minus 24 to get minus 28. I'm going to call that equation 1. We used the 0 of the factor to get an equation. Let's do the same with the 0 of this factor. The 0 of x plus 4 would be negative 4. So we'll sub that in to the equation. We get a times negative 4 cubed minus, make sure to put brackets this time, negative 4, oh, negative 4 squared plus b times negative 4 minus 24. And if you sub in the 0, you get a value of 0. Let's simplify. You get a times negative 64 minus negative 4 squared, that's positive 16, plus b times negative 4, that's negative 4b, minus 24. So I'll take an extra step here because I want to mess up the minuses. I get negative 64a minus 16 minus 4b minus 24. And then I'm going to write the letters first, negative 64a, and then there's negative 4b. And now I'll combine these like terms, negative 16 and negative 24, makes negative 40. That's my equation too. Looks good so far. I got two equations, two unknowns. So if you follow it up to here, now it's back to a grade 10 skill. I have two equations, two unknowns, solve using substitution or elimination. Some of you are going to use elimination, that's okay. I'm going to use substitution from equation 1. I'm going to start with that. So I have 0 equals 8a plus 2b minus 28. And I'm going to get the b by itself. So I'm going to subtract 8a both sides. I get negative 8a equals 2b minus 28. You could have got the other letter by itself. Just the b looks easier because I want a fractions. I'm going to add 28 both sides. And I get negative 8a plus 28 equals 2b. And now I'm going to divide everything by 2 to clear off that b. And so b is negative 4a plus 14. Let's call that 1a. It's equation 1, but adjusted. And now that I've got that equation, I'm going to sub it in. This is substitution. There's videos on that if you want to watch. Sub 1a into 2. I have to sub it into the other equation. The other le reason I like calling it 1a is I know which one to sub it into, the other one. So I have 0 equals negative 64a minus 4, but now the b becomes this. The b is negative 4a plus 14. Close the brackets. And then subbing into 2 leaves that minus 40 out there. And now I have one equation, one unknown, solve. So 0 equals negative 64a. Don't forget to rainbow this minus and the 4 in. Minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16a. Minus 4 times positive 14 is negative 56. You can use a calculator if you want. And then minus 40. It's going to simplify really quickly. 0 equals negative 64 plus 16. So you can check that on your calculator if you want. I'm pretty sure it's negative 48, but no judgments if you do it. Negative 64 plus 16. Yep. Negative 48a. 
and then minus 56 minus 40 is minus 96. So I'm going to add 96 both sides so I can get A by itself. And I have 96 equals negative 48A. And now divide both sides by negative 48. I, I can see the answer, but if you can't, it's okay. And pull out the calculator. What's 96 divided by negative 48? You get negative 2. All right. We know A now. Our goal was to solve for the missing coefficients. We were missing A and B. We know A now. A is negative 2. So let's solve for B. How do you solve for B? You can sub this A into any equation, 1 or 2, but I prefer 1A because the B is already by itself. It's going to be the easiest one to use. So sub A equals negative 2 into 1A. And so I get negative 4 times A, which is negative 2, plus 14 equals B. I'm going to show my work just so I don't mess it up. Negative times a negative is positive, so you get 8 plus 14. And so B is 22. If it just said solve for the coefficients, that's not really a word problem, but just in case, I'll put a therefore statement. The missing coefficients are a equals negative 2 and b equals 22. And we're done. We've solved for the missing coefficients of a polynomial by using the zeros of the factors to create two equations. And once we created two equations, we solved using substitution.